Hello, my fellow engineers and everyone who is working in virtualization world or dealing with the virtualization. Welcome to another Starwin video. And today I'm going to show you how to use Starwin V2V converter to convert Hyper-V virtual machine to VMware platform. And today I'm going to show you how to perform so-called hot conversion. So the conversion of the running virtual machine without any downtime. So let's get started. And we're starting with very important step prior to starting the conversion. And that step is making sure that your enabled snapshots on the virtual machine that you're going to convert. So to do that, we need to perform a couple of simple steps. So we need to go to Hyper-V Manager. We're selecting our virtual machine, our source virtual machine that we're going to convert. We're going to its settings and we're going to checkpoints. And here you are enabling the suitable option for you, for your conversion, for the snapshots. I already did everything to show you how the process of the conversion looks like. So we have all everything set it up. So we're checked everything that uh, we enabled snapshots. So now we can start the conversion and we're starting in by running the start with V2V converter. First step, we're selecting the source platform, Microsoft Hyper-V server. So on this step, you have a couple of choices, how you will be connecting V2V converter to a Hyper-V server. Um, I'm running V2V converter locally on the server where the source virtual machine, so it, it's running, so it's the source server. So I won't be changing anything for the credentials because I'm running uh, converter software locally and it's easy to access. If you're running V2V converter software remotely and you're remotely connecting to the Hyper-V server, here you need to put the IP address or the host name of that Hyper-V server. Um, the best way is to put the IP address of it and the user for connecting V2V converter software to the Hyper-V server. So let's move to the next step. So now we're selecting the virtual machine that we want to convert. Now as well, very important step, you need to check those two checkbox, uh, which are enabled the hot conversion. If you won't check them, it will be a completely different conversion and you won't get the expected or the proper result for that conversion. So we're check that. We go into the next step. So now we're selecting the destination platform or destination system, um, ESXi system, the VMware system. Um, so now as well, you have a couple of two choices to choose from. You can point V2V converter to entire cluster by pointing it to uh, vCenter server appliance or vSphere client, or you can point it to the particular server. So for example, if you don't have a cluster, you're pointing V2V converter to your standalone VMware host bar you want to have virtual machine after the conversion. So I will be pointing it to the um, entire cluster, to the vCenter server appliance. So let me just put the information about it. So the IP address, now the user, So let me just quickly check if I put it correctly. Okay. Now password. Yeah, the password. Okay. So now we established the connection with our destination system. So if you pointed V2V converter to the cluster, to the vSphere client or to the vCenter server appliance, as I did, you would have additional step to configure on this page, on this step. So is this step is to choose the destination server. If on the previous step, you put the information about the particular ESXi host, this setting will be already pre-selected because you already did it on the previous step. So I'll be selecting the destination server. Now we're selecting the destination storage on the destination system. 
Now we're putting the name of our virtual machine, the new virtual machine. As well, we're selecting the source uh, virtual disk of the source virtual machine. We're selecting the network for our new virtual machine uh, that it start with. And also, uh, this step is as well very important, the operating system. Uh, you need to choose the proper operating system type. It should be identical to the operating system type of your source virtual machine. Otherwise, conversion will be completed, but virtual machine won't start because you selected the different operating system type. If it's, for example, you have a Linux VM and you're selecting Windows operating system type, the vSphere cluster will be confused about that. So you need to select it properly. I have a Linux virtual machine, so I'm selecting Linux operating system type. So now we did, uh, we filled everything, all of those settings, so we put it properly. So now we can start the conversion by clicking convert button. So once the conversion is started, you just need to wait until it will be finished. So after it finished, you just go to your VMware cluster or VMware server, you're powering on your new virtual machine, you're checking it if it runs correctly, if the data is correct, so you're checking the, that virtual machine is working fine. If it is, then you're good to go. You, have, you can further work with the new virtual machine that you already converted, or you can start the new conversions and bring more virtual machines to your VMware environment or VMware server, so yeah. Uh, so now you have, that's our, those are all of the steps that you need to know to, on how to use VTV Converter to convert Hyper-V VM to VMware platform. So yeah, thank you everyone for being with me on this video. I hope you learned a bit more today f about the virtualization and how you can work with it. And now you have additional tool in your arsenal for your day-to-day -day work with the virtualization. Thank you everyone once again, stay safe and I see you next video.